Across our area were rattled this morning in the early morning hours by a rare earthquake. It struck east of Lacombe and for many is a reminder that we all live in an earthquake zone. Fox News' Connor McCarthy joins us live from Portland State University where he spoke with a geology professor today about the earthquake. He'll also show us a very important tool everyone should have on their phones just in case the big one were to hit. Right, Connor? Well, that's right, Stephanie. As you know, this earthquake wasn't that big, but it was felt nearly at all ends of the Willamette Valley. Now, if it was just a tiny bit bigger than phones across the state, would receive an emergency alert tone warning the public that an earthquake was on its way. Now, if you want these alert tones to, ha uh, to go off on your phone when an earthquake does happen, you do have to sign up for Shake Alert. It was an early morning alarm that thousands of people across Oregon heard, but didn't set. A 4.4 magnitude earthquake shook the ground throughout the Willamette Valley, waking up some Oregonians. We get a lot of these little earthquakes, you know, not not super regularly, but often enough, um, you know, that it's it's nothing too surprising to someone who's thinking about these types of earthquakes. Earthquake geologist and associate professor at Portland State, Ashley Streig, says this quake was centered in an interesting location. It's a fault that is not in what we call our, our active fault database, a quaternary fault database. Um, so it's certainly an older bedrock fault. It's in the Western Cascades. There's loads of faults in there. When the ground started shaking, Professor Strag says Oregon's new Shake Alert tool started collecting data. The Shake Alert system had a fantastic success in this earthquake. She says immediately seismic sensors across the state began collecting data on the initial shock wave of the quake. Within seconds, a supercomputer determined the strength and location. It then determined whether an emergency alert needed to be sent out. The quake was just shy of the 4.5 magnitude threshold to send out alerts on phones. Strike says everyone on the West Coast should get this early warning system on their phones, especially for Portlanders who live on three active faults that run through the middle of the city. There were a Portland Hills fault earthquake. We could get imp important seconds of warning to schools, to hospitals in the region to stop, to, to the to TriMet system, to stop trains, to stop operations, um, to, to duck, cover, and hold. Professor Streig also says this earthquake should be a good reminder for you and your family to stay prepared if a destructive earthquake hits. The earthquake is small, and it's a reminder that we live on an active plate boundary, just like our beautiful Cascade Mountains are the same reminder. They're there because of this plate boundary, and so we should expect earthquakes, and we should be prepared. Well, Stephanie, to be clear, the shake alert does not predict earthquakes. It only alerts the public when an earthquake initially starts shaking the ground. Now, if you'd like to sign up for shake alerts, what you can do is go on your phone settings and turn on those government emergency alert tones. And also, there are three apps on the App Store that you can download that will also send you alerts if an earthquake does happen. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how to prepare for an earthquake, you can visit our website at kptv.com. Live in Southwest Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.